everybody, it's Lisa Twyla's mom, and today is Friday, and you know what that means. We go to the Dollar Tree after work. Well, I do have a, uh, one or two things to show you from the Dollar General also, but let's go ahead and get started. I do have to work tonight, so I want to be able to get this recorded so that tomorrow, while I am sleeping, it can be uploaded, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. And yes, I do have the sun right here in my face. Yeah, can't help it. So, well, let's see. Let's try turning you, putting you over here. A little bit backlit, but I think that's a little better, maybe? I can't tell. Yeah, well, I got it right here, everywhere I look. I've got the sun in my face. Let's put you back over here. I think this is the best angle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, that's even worse. Ah. I should maybe do this after dark. Yeah. <laughs> We're in another room. How about that? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get started, okay? I needed some fabric softer, so I went ahead and picked up some Final Touch. And you get 35 ounces. Does not say how many loads, but picked up some Final Touch, and it is HE approved for the high efficiency washers. Then I also picked up some more lighters because we use these for candles, you know, lighting the barbecue, all that business, and they always seem to just walk away, even though I do have a home for those things. <laughs> I thought I would go ahead and give these a try. Now, these are not new by no means, and I've bought them for other people, but I've never bought them for myself. And they are the microfiber facial pads. So you guys all know what these are, but I thought I would give them a try for me. Got myself a new spongy for my bath. Um, I bought one of these just a few weeks ago, but the string was too short to hang on my little hook that I have in my bath, my shower. So I've got a different one, yeah. Twyla needed some more floss picks, so I picked her up some of the AIM. And you get 60 in here. Me and Scott use plain old floss. I don't remember the last time we bought it because that stuff lasts forever. <laughs> yeah. I uh, went in and picked up two more packs of the favorite razors. They are the Six Blade by Relia Shave. So I picked up two more of those. Uh, picked up some double A batteries. And I have been told the alkaline is the best. So I picked that up. Two Snickers. Yep. Two. Picked them up. Wanted them. Needed them. Picked up some of the belly flops. Um, from Jelly Belly, and I don't care what shape they are in, they still taste good. Yeah, so pick that up, and you get 4.7 ounces, and it says there's five servings, which is probably only two for me. <laughs> I have not had these in forever, and I remember my grandma used to always have these, and they're the maple nut goodies from Brock's. And you get three and a half servings in this bag, and it's four ounces. Picked up a bag of Fritos Flavor Twist and Honey Barbecue. And this is a pretty good sized bag. It says there's 4.5 servings. It doesn't look like a big bag, but it's bigger than the little snack bags, smaller than the one that you get, like, you know, at Walmart or whatever. But, yeah. Picked that up. Picked up a package of the Chester's Puff Corn. And this one has two servings in it. I really like this. It's not a heavy chip or anything like that. It's, um, but it's not popcorn where you got the holes. Because popcorn, I, I'm not a big popcorn eater because the holes always get stuck in my teeth and all that business. Yeah. So, I just get the puff corn. Really like it. In the cheese. Now, Hallmark has moved into my Dollar Tree. It has. 
uh, last week they were putting up the shelves for them. But I got to tell you, I'm not the most impressed person. Because they feel like um, they're not as high quality in some of the cards. I don't know. I mean, it's just a card, you know, and everybody just kind of, you know, after they've had a birthday card or whatever. I don't. I save all my birthday cards and everything. <laughs> but most people, after they've had it, you know, like sitting on display for, you know, two or three weeks, they just toss it. So I guess I shouldn't complain about the quality. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll have the the jury is still out for the quality of Hallmark cards that they have put in my Dollar Tree. So but I did go ahead and pick up this one. Uh, me and Scott will be celebrating our anniversary in a couple of weeks. So I picked up this card for him. And yeah. Anyway, that's my little ditty about the Hallmark cards. Um, I'm glad and that Hallmark's in there and they're recognizing that most people do buy their cards from a discount store such as Dollar Tree. Uh, very, I don't remember the last time I bought a greeting card from Walmart because a card like this would probably be about three or four dollars and yeah I don't yeah let's move on okay that's enough about greeting cards yeah <laughs> these are new pom-pom heart keychains and they are just so cute they're nice and soft and fuzzy they're in the shape of a heart and they have one of the um oh what do we call those are they alligator clips or whatever I'm trying to get it in the right position there we go and I picked up one of each color. They had the pink one, the yellow, the teal, and kind of a soft baby blue. And I picked these up for my granddaughters to put into their stockings. I've only got one granddaughter old enough to drive, but the other ones, you know, they carry backpacks and purses and stuff. So. I thought they would enjoy that. Uh, let's see. Now my son came over and he had a backache. So, and I happened to have some of the patches at the house. I had some tiger patches and a Thermacare patch. I just gave them to him. Well, that left me with no patches, you know, for when me or Scott happened to have a backache. So I went in and picked up two of the absorbing um, plus junior and these are the extra large they're probably not really any bigger than this but yeah until I can get the big patches for lower backs and stuff these will have to do and then um, I threw my hip out uh, last week and um, Monday I had to go get it back in place but I have a ice pack in the fridge one of them gel ones that you can use cold or hot and I keep it in the freezer um, but I noticed it was getting kind of shabby looking you know it's been used a lot it's getting kind of crinkly and stuff like that so I went and picked up another one of them and they are the pain relief packs and this is the same one I've had you know the same one I've got in my freezer and yeah after use using one of these they, they do they get real crinkly they, you can just tell it's time to get a new one and you do get a little bag with it but I usually don't use the bag I just wrap it up in a hand towel and use it that way but I do like these I like keeping them on hand and you know things like that because they are perfect to mold like around your shoulder or around your neck or like if you have a sore arm or ankle they mold really well around those you know places and I don't like sleeping with a you're not supposed to sleep with a heating pad um, but this one here you can heat it up and sleep with it because I want to say in about 
15 20 minutes it's really starting to cool down and stuff like that so yeah I don't have a problem with sleeping with this all right now for the very last thing from the Dollar Tree I got some dog treats from my doggy got her some snossages I got her some gravy train jerky strips I got her some beef flavor sticks and I got her some of the canine carry out chicken flavors um, and yes I know oh those aren't organic or make sure they weren't made in China and all that my dog is 13 years old and we have fed her about anything and everything that you know treat wise and never gave it a second thought until this past year or two um, the only thing she's never had is table scraps table scraps for her is only a, a few french fries we'll feed her a couple of french fries once in a while and pizza crust it's the only table scraps that my dog has ever experienced she's never had real bacon anything like that um, now I did try to make her own dog food Oh, I want to say two or three years ago where I used turkey and rice and you know things like that mixed in some peas and carrots and stuff she did not want any part of it and she also not her but her brother Mitchell um, which is no longer with us he got sick it made him sick to his stomach <laughs> she just didn't want to eat it and he he loved it but he couldn't eat it <laughs> so we nixed that real quick and went back to their yeah they are their owners dogs because we are junk food junkies around this house <laughs> okay I'm gonna show you real quick what I got from the Dollar General I went there with the purpose of trying to find a curtain for my bathroom window um, just see what they had because I passed one on the way home from work and I really didn't feel like well, going into Walmart you know until I was ready to buy my groceries but uh, yeah of course they did not have a curtain that I was going to be happy with but I did find this clock and it is neat I love it it is this one right here and it's got the gears on the inside now the gears do not move just the hands the gears are just plastic that's put under the glass but isn't that neat I really like this clock It's is a, a darker shade of gray than what's on our window um, some of the brick that we've put around the trim and stuff like that in the bathroom is about the same shade as the brown so yeah this is going to go in my bathroom I really like that I think that was ten dollars I yes it was ten dollars oh I've got to move back here and I've got two more things to show you I got some comic classic toilet bowl cleaner nothing exciting but I did see this, so I'm going to give this a try. It's the Coco Spa Naturals Coconut Oil Hand and Body Cream in a three-pack. It's just the little trial tubes. I'm going to put, take these to work with me. Because I did try the canister, you know, the unscrew the lid one for my feet. The regular um, coconut oil lotion thing I use that on my feet it was okay it was okay it it wasn't like a miracle or anything but it did the job you know like any other lotion would do <laughs> but I just saw those so I thought I'd give them a try and yeah so that is it everybody I hope that you've had a wonderful day today I hope you have a wonderful weekend I on the other hand have to work but that's okay there must be a reason for it there must be a reason for it God has got a reason for me working all these days and all these hours um, don't know what it is yet but he'll let me know 
<laughs> I did notice that um, we don't have central air in this house, but we have the window units. Like each one of the bedrooms has a small window unit. The living room and kitchen, which is kind of combined, and downstairs here we have a large window unit that goes in the living room. And I noticed this, this afternoon when I woke up, it wasn't blowing real cold air. Um, so maybe that was God's plan, telling me, hey, your air conditioner is going to need replaced. So, yeah. And this time of year, it's really hard to find those things. So maybe that is what it is. I don't know. I shall find out. You wait and see. <laughs> So, I'm going to get off of here, but don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me that comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.